Right, we are in the closet section of my Home Depot and I just needed one more of these, but I just saw that they have a complete wall set up of the Milwaukee Pack Out wall stuff. But let's go over the actual wall stuff that they have here because they actually have a lot. So like stuff like this is awesome, you know, like multiple use, you know, it's, they are, they were very innovative with this new stuff. And let's go over these prices. They have the pack out roll holder. So like the uh, paper towel or some sort of tape. That's a bit pricey for a, a roll holder and that's actually gonna take up quite a bit of space. $12.98 for the organizer cup. Yeah, that's a bit pricey. You know, like these are pricey too. You know what I mean? It's like for what they actually are, $14.98 for the plier rack. Right there. $14.98 for the screwdriver holder. It actually has quite a few options in there. That's how it goes on. $19.98 for the straight utility hook. Seeing how these go in. And you just lock it like that and that is now in there. $19.98 for their Oh, same thing, sorry. $19.98 for their large hook. Yeah, that is a that is much bigger than that. $19.98 for their curved utility hook. The Peck Out Large S hook. Not too shabby. $12.98. For their small straight utility hook. See, for for an individual hook, these are these are high prices. They really are. Twelve ninety eight for their curved utility small hook. That's both the same thing. All right, for their uh, M eighteen battery holder, you are able to hold up to. How many batteries at once? Somebody uh, posted something in the Milwaukee Packout Facebook group I'm in. There, there's actually a way to get the maximum of batteries in this. And 1998 for their M12 battery holder. 39.98 for their tool station, which I did a video on this and the battery holder already. $39.98 for their pack out long handled tool rack. So you're able to hold in potentially six tools in there, if uh, six small tools or three long ones. Down, down, down. Technically, you could fit six tools on here or potentially just uh, three big tools. $19.98 for their 10.3-inch uh, large black compact wall. That's not bad. That's not a bad deal. That's not a bad deal. <clears throat> Same thing for that. $39.98 for their 30.75-inch uh, large black wall. Not too shabby. $14.98 for their large bin set. Yeah, that is a two pack. $9.98 for a two pack for the small uh, bin set. And $19.98 for their compact shelf. I like that actually, that's nice. So that'll just hang up on the wall like that. I like that, that's pretty robust that's pretty thick for what it is all right reason why i did this video because i love this pack out cabinet like i said i'm the first one to actually make a pack out cabinet and dave over at man caver tools decided milwaukee's three-door pack out works better as a cabinet and i'm not gonna lie 
That dude's over there living in the year 3000 while we're stuck in, well, you know. Just goes in like that. That, that is cool, you guys. That is cool. It has a 13 point lock system on the bottom. And so you could put this on top of a regular pack out and you can also put stuff on top of it, which is actually a big deal. Like they were very innovative with this stuff. They really were. I mean, I love this stuff. And that is 139. 49.98 for their black resin racking shelf. Okay, so this is so you could actually slide a pack out on to there as is like this. And if you think about it, that's that's pretty much all they got so far. Like I'm pretty sure Milwaukee is gonna create out uh, have more in the future, but that's pretty much it for right now. Like I said, I'm gonna show you guys a few more pictures on why the Ryobi Link system really isn't that sufficient just because of the base of the design. I love the concept of the Ryobi Link system, but it's just a waste. It ends up being a waste of space on your wall because you're not using most of the actual wall units because it's just being taken up with space on it's crazy so I'll, I'll show you guys show you guys that already so that's pretty much it so i want to give a huge shout out to my members of the channel for majorly helping support the channel so i hope you found this video helpful and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time